it's a pleasure to be here with everyone. And Sadine, I, I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about Lindner from a big picture perspective. To us, you're here because we see your extraordinary potential. And tonight's an opportunity to learn more about us and your potential fit at Lindner. And at our school, our higher purpose is really very clear. At Lindner, we empower problem solvers to tackle the world's challenges. And we do this by, through a unique and powerful combination of academic and hands-on learning experiences designed to fuel your growth. Now, when I say unique, I know that that's a rather bold term. So let me just introduce myself a little bit further and explain why I know this to be true. I started as Dean at Lindner last summer. Prior to coming to Lindner, I was Dean of an international business school in London for four years, and I served on the boards of the two major uh, business school accrediting bodies. I spent a lot of time at business schools around the world. And before going to London, I was at Lindner for 18 years. I was a faculty, I was a social, associate dean, I was an honors program director, and I am the mother of an honors graduate. When I was in London, I really had an epiphany. The more I studied and learned and visited schools, business schools around the world, the more I realized how truly unique and remarkable the combination of distinctions at Lindner really are. So tonight I wanna to tell you a little bit about our five interwoven distinctions and better yet, after me, you're gonna hear from students to share their experiences of those distinctions. So let's go through the five. The first is experiential learning. We know that experience matters. We founded co-op. We are the number one public university for co-op and internships. Co-op stands for cooperative education. What that means is you don't just have summer internships. We partner with our employers. We partner with our study abroad universities. Those partnerships help us learn together how better to support you and how rapidly the business world is changing. The second distinction is our flexibility. Learning is very personal. You need options. Something you may not know about UC is we're among an, a handful of schools, and I literally mean a handful, as in less than five, in terms of the variety of majors and minors we have. You can stack these, you can explore over 402 programs at UC. Really, the opportunities are endless, and it's up to you to find your passion and how to turn it into a career. And we'll talk a bit about how we help you do that. The third distinction is our problem-solving mindset. I don't say that lightly. Problem-solving means building your toolkit, knowing your capabilities, also developing your confidence to use them. Business is a remarkably powerful problem-solving tool or set of tools, whether you're in finance or marketing or accounting or analytics or the list goes on, you can make a remarkable difference in the world through business. And we help you explore how to do that through uh, projects and programs in the classroom, but also far outside of the classroom with our partners. The fourth distinct distinction is our Lindner community. It is inclusive, it is collaborative, since March, when we went through a lockdown, I and I think many others just realized how powerful and tight that community was to be there for each other, supporting our students, our faculty, our staff, our alumni, our employers. Working together, everybody thrives. And the last distinction is our vibrant urban setting. Cincinnati is a remarkable backyard. It sits in this beautiful in-between. We're not in a cornfield. And we're not in a metropolis like a London or New York, which are fantastic cities, but are so big, you don't necessarily feel part of that ecosystem. Cincinnati is also distinctive because we have actually more Fortune 500s per capita than any city in the US, and also one of the top entrepreneurial ecosystems. So that blend of small and large and different industries means there are tremendous variety of partners and employers for us to choose from as starting points from you for you wherever your your career and your learning opportunities should take you so those five distinctions experiential learning and co-op the flexibility of our pathways 
our Lindner community, our problem-solving mindset, and our Cincinnati home are a tremendous mix. And they're available to all students at Lindner. I'm thrilled that next you get to meet some of our students because they've lived this experience. They'll tell it to you, warts and all, and it's wonderful to have them here. So enjoy, and thank you, Ashley, for inviting me tonight. Thank you, Marianne, so much. We really appreciate it. So the thing that everyone always asks us are, can you share student experiences, and what does that look like? And so we've asked five of our students to join us tonight, and we are very thankful that on the first day of class, um, the first person up has been up since about 4 a.m. and was on the local news this morning. But I'd like to ask Abigail Armstrong to talk about experiential learning and what that means to her. Thanks, Ashley. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to start with a short introduction. My name is Abigail Armstrong, and I'm a fourth year in Closet Business Scholars. And I'm pretty involved on campus. And I also had a few co-ops. My first co-op was at Fifth Third Bank. And then I worked for Delta Airlines. And after that, I went to Ernst & Young. And then I decided to um, do a co-op abroad at Brand Finance in Singapore. And then my last and most current co-op um, was actually with Microsoft. So coming into UC and just going through choosing schools, what stuck out to me was the co-op program. But what I didn't realize about the co-op at UC was just the whole experiential learning aspect. And I didn't realize how many co-ops I would end up doing and that I would end up co-oping in different states and also in a different country. And not only was I doing these co-ops in really different places and um, experiencing different industries that I was interested in, but I also got to study abroad and just have my experience widened by getting to take classes and participate in various different lengths of study abroad opportunities. But what I really love about experiential learning is just that I really got to test drive everything that I came into college interested in, but didn't really know um, a ton about. Like I came in as a finance major and also an international business major and switched many, many times. And a lot of those I wouldn't have figured out um, if I hadn't have had these experiences and really getting into a real workplace and just trying out what I've been studying and getting that experience has made all the difference in my college career. And what really makes all of us stand out here at Lindner is the amount of experiences that we have that are so unique. It can really start as young as you want. Um, I started my freshman year after um, like following my freshman year, that following summer was when I had my first experience. And I know that kind of just opened up the door for many more opportunities to come. And I'm really proud to say that it, through that experience, I ended up landing at my dream company in the end. So all in all experiential learning has really shaped my whole entire college experience. And it's funny, like looking back on it now as a fourth year, I had no idea that I would do this many co-ops or like even just fit all of this in in such a short amount of time. But I'm really proud to um, have gone through it all and don't have any regrets about choosing Lindner. So thank you all for listening. Thanks, Thanks. Abigail. So now that you've heard from Abigail about experiential learning, you really get to see how much more beyond the classroom Linda really is. And so one of the things that we need to do in order to do all of these different things that Abigail discussed is have flexibility in our programming. And so we've asked Ayan to come and talk about his experience and what that looks like in the realm of flexibility. So Ayan. Hello, everyone. This is Ayan Ashmal, currently a third year student at the College of Business and an international student from India. Right now, I'm majoring in Industrial Management, Information Systems, and International Business with minors in Marketing and Finance, and a certificate in Family Business Management and Business Law. Apart from that, I'm involved with the Undergraduate Student Government and Alpha Kappa Psi, which is a professional business fraternity on campus. So, how do I do it all? Good question. Phenomenal question. Right now, I would say a little bit of the credit would go to my time management, but a majority of the credit goes to the staff and the faculty of the university and the College of Business. Because here at UC, and especially at the College of Business, 
they recognize that everyone's different and they are willing to work with you and go the extra step to make sure you get what you need to excel in this in your college life not just academically but professionally personally in any aspect i can assure you i am a perfect example of this because while coming in i wasn't sure what i wanted to do at that time i chose information systems as my major because it just seemed logical then but after i was here i found myself in my advisor's office 3 to 4 times a month trying to figure out how can i add more majors like the things i wanted to do and how can i make the schedule work and she was always willing to work with me and understand why i wanted to do things and she made sure i got the best of my college experience she was always very flexible in understanding and helping me out she spent a lot of time helping me like make my schedule and make sure i can get things done in the right way and that's just one example of my advisor there are countless countless examples of such similar help that i've gotten throughout my journey so far another example i could say is this past summer i was uh, supposed to go on a study abroad trip the study abroad trip did not happen but if it was to happen the dates were clashing with some of my summer classes so i reached out to all my professors and explained them i was going on this trip and it was really important to me and why was it important and all of them were more than willing to work with me to make sure i can finish my classes a little bit early and go on the trip and that's another example of how flexible the staff and the faculty is for the college of business all you have to do is just reach out to people and ask for help and i can assure you nobody is going to say no to you everyone's more than willing to help you out in any situation and work with you one on one to make sure you reach your best potential and that was my journey so far you're going to have your own journey which may look like mine or it can be completely different but it's all okay because college of business and the faculty staff everybody in this university and the college is going to really recognize this fact that your journey may be completely different than mine and still help you out and make sure you have the best of your college experience thank you for listening to me have a good day and stay safe thank you ayan So next up, we really have to think about who supports all of the students that are doing different things within the college. And so one of the things that we think about is the whole entire Lindner community. And so how can students get involved in different things? How can they test what they want to do? How can they meet more people? And so I've asked Matias to come and talk to us about what that looks like um, for him. So Matias, would you like to start? Yep. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh hey what's up everyone? Uh thank you all for coming out tonight. This is a uh, very exciting as ambassador seeing the new class of prospective students come around. Uh, my name is Matias Merida and I am a second year uh, Linear Honors Plus student uh, majoring in finance and hopefully I'll be getting my masters in business analytics. So today I'll be talking about the community aspect of the Linear Honors programs and why it's so important. Through Linear, I've gotten very involved in different clubs and organizations. such as Linder Student Association which is known as LSA Linder Ambassadors and Business Fellows. So LSA serves as the internal governing body of Linder and I had the awesome opportunity to serve as senator on the exec board and, and represent Linder in student government senate. Linder Ambassadors helps out the Linder admissions team through various projects such as honors interviews, uh tours, presentations and more. Uh the business fellows community is dedicated to supporting African American, Hispanic, Latino and Native American students by providing access to a network of resources and opportunities and ultimately a small and friendly home within the large college. I've met some of my closest friends to this day through my freshman year business fellows class in our Toronto, Canada trip where we got to travel there and learn about various companies uh such as a few local startups 
uh, PNC, and Ernst & Young, which is where I'm working currently. Speaking of business fellows, uh, they work closely with the Office of Inclusive Excellence in Linder. Uh, the Office of Inclusive Excellence manages programs like Business Fellows, Linder Women in Business, and Pride at Linder. Aside from these great clubs in Linder, uh, I wanted to talk about the community aspect of the Linder Honors Programs, which I think separates Linder from a lot of other business schools. A large majority of my closest friends that I've made through college are in the Linder Honors Programs. Uh, we all live together as part of our learning community in Morgan's, which was the time of my life. Um, living with these people in Morgan's was, was a blast. We, we had movie nights together all the time, woke each other up for classes. We, we had friends giving together and helped each other with classes and more. Uh, finally, uh, what I think is the coolest part of the Linder Business Honors Program is the vast network you are tapped into. Uh, Linder Business Honors has been a program that has been around for a while. And so as the years progress, uh, the network gets bigger. I can't tell you guys how many times I've called up uh, an older LHP student for advice on an organization or a co-op. Uh, these are people who have been extremely involved in clubs and who have gotten insane co-ops in incredible locations. And every, it's, it's like everyone likes to hang to help out, so never be afraid to reach out. Well, the various clubs in Lindner, the honors programs, and the people that make this uh, college of 5,000 students uh, make it seem small and, and give it a family feeling, which is awesome. Uh, and so, yeah, that's basically my little spiel on the honors, program, honors programs here. Uh, thank you all for coming out, and yeah. Thank you so much, Matthias. We appreciate it. So when we think about building future problem solvers, we have to really figure out how does a student do that? And so when you're 18 and you're coming into college, what does that look like and how do you really build that up? So we've asked Grace Kesters to come and talk to you a little bit about her experience and how building a future problem solver fits in with her. Thanks, Ashley. Um, hi, everyone. Like Ashley said, my name is Grace Kesters. I'm a second year here at Lidner. There's a bit more detail about me um, on the slide, but I just wanted to use my time to tell you a little bit more about my story. I was pretty much born and raised a Bearcat. My dad's an alum and my sister is actually gonna be graduating from Lidner in the spring. So I was pretty excited to see what all the hype was about. And I can honestly tell you that choosing UC was the best decision I've ever made. And not for the cliche reasons like the friends that I made or the clubs I joined, but specifically because of how hard the faculty and staff work to make sure their students are prepared for what comes next. Just as you all will soon do, I began my classes and what Lindner calls the first year experience. I'm not sure how much you've heard about this. Um, you'll probably hear a lot more about it in the future, but essentially it's a series of projects that force you to work collaboratively with other students and businesses in the area and create solutions. During my very first semester, I was able to work with Chick-fil-A for Write in order to um, perform a SWOT and analysis and provide them with strategic recommendations on how to improve their business. I also worked with VMI on manufacturing in order to help them solve a little problem they were having with their inventory. During my second semester, I worked with a different group of students in order to uh, perform an IQE pitch, which essentially we created an entire business plan from scratch. We, my team and I pretty much ended up pitching an idea for a reverse vending machine with the hopes of making it easier to recycle on campus and incentivize students to do so. Even outside of the curriculum, I problem solved when like many other students, my plans for the summer got changed last minute. I was supposed to be with Great American Insurance Group, um, which ended up getting canceled due to COVID, but I reached out to a couple of my professors during the first year and um, my career coach and they were really able to provide me with different resources um, and allowed me to find ways to still make use of my time and use my time to my advantage this summer. If these past 12 months have taught me anything, it's that we need to be prepared for everything. Whether it's a small technical glitch or a worldwide pandemic, we need to be able to adapt and keep pushing forward. Luckily, the Lindner College of Business has been doing this all along. As a business community, we're focused on finding new, innovative solutions to problems that might not even exist yet. Building the future, for all, future problem solvers of the world is not just one of the pillars we're gonna talk about today, but it's one of our strengths as a 
school and it's something you'll use every day as a student here and every day in your professional careers. As a second year student, I already recognize the importance of being able to solve problems and I'm excited to see what might come next. I wish you all the best of luck as you begin your journey and I can't wait to see what you all accomplish. Thank you so much, Grace, that was great. So the last pillar we're gonna talk about with our current students is why is it important to be in an urban setting like the city of Cincinnati? And so I've asked Brian Kemper to come talk a little bit about his experience as someone that is later on a little bit. So he's doing an MS program. And so we've asked him to come share kind of the total looking back on his experience at Cincinnati and why it's been important to be in the city. Brian? Yes, hello everyone. My name is Brian Kemper. Uh, thanks, Ashley. Just like she said, I'm a fifth year right now. So I'm doing my Master's of Science right now in Finance. Um, so I've done four years of undergrad at UC and I've loved it um, so much, I guess, that I stayed around to do my master's here for a fifth year. Um, so the big pillar that, you know, I was kind of picked to talk about was the city of Cincinnati, kind of what that means. So throughout, you know, throughout my high school career, um, you know, I really kind of wanted to go out of town. So sorry, I was born and raised right here in town. And I wanted to find, you know, a city that was exciting, had a lot of energy, and was just a good place to be. And, um, you know, and I didn't think that I could find that here, right, in Cincinnati. So anyway, I ended up going uh, here to college, ended up loving it, buying in, getting really involved on campus, co-oping, et cetera. And I found that the city that I'm from is one of the coolest that I've ever been to. And you really get that feeling and understanding once you're on campus. So. Those who don't know, downtown Cincinnati is only about like, you know, it's uh, a short bus ride. It's like a dollar bus ride downtown from campus, or it's like a five minute Uber. It's really fast and it's really accessible. And to do that also just opens up so many doors for students. So I had the privilege of uh, co oping at Kroger. Uh, I was in their capital management department, Kroger's headquartered downtown, along with, I think, eight or nine other Fortune 500 companies. And so you really find these jobs that are available to UC students, and they're not just available, but these companies seek out their caps to come work for them. And, you know, some, I mean, these companies are at the absolute top of their field. We're talking about the Cintas of the world, Procter & Gamble, Macy's was just headquartered here, Fifth Third Bank. So they have all these opportunities for students right, you know, within a five minute drive of campus. And there's so few universities that can say that. And there's so few universities that are in a spot with 400 Fortune 500s, you know, kind of just right around the corner of them. Um, and, you know, aside from just kind of the job aspect, the city of Cincinnati has also just been booming. You know, I mean, when I was growing up, even in high school, it's, it's nowhere near to where it is, you know, right now in my fifth year of college. Um, the nightlife is amazing. We have great sporting events. The suburbs area around town are also a really fun place to go. And, you know, I ended up turning down some jobs from Washington, Atlanta, uh, one in New York, because I wanted to stay here. I like the energy. I like that we live in a growing entrepreneurial city. And it's uh, just a really great place to be and a really great place. I'm excited to start my uh, full-time career at. 